So first off, we're gonna do uh, Dude, a BFR, which is blood flow <laughs> restriction. <laughs> do up and down or? You put a little cuff on your arm or leg or whatever, and it blocks oh. the venous oh. blood flow from going out, in this case, out of my arm, back to the body. So it traps all the metabolites from keep going, keep going. exercise keep and blood keep going, keep going. in up, up, up. my arm. And you can see I'm struggling keep going, keep super hard up, up, up. with only a few reps of lightweight. Keep going, keep going. Up, 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 so it's real effective at getting the pump. And you'll see at the end. Keep going, keep going. And there are various studies on BFR to see if it is a good way to shorten your total workout time and get the same amount of hypertrophy like that. And you see my arm's pumped already. Oh god! <laughs> Just, just wait till this, we'll yeah, face we'll get the now. face one now. Discomfort is the And in my opinion, BFR can be pretty effective if you're short on time. <laughs> <laughs> Or you just really want to struggle super hard ah. like I'm doing. <laughs> but at the end, you'll see how fun my arm is when you take it off. Uh, just wait till you go back and watch this, Justice. Uh. His bicep's about to go over onto his forearm. And I was sore for like. <laughs> What, two or three days after oh. this on that arm? That was How much was that? 40%? And he was trying to get me to do another study. That was yeah, right? I'm not going to be able to do anything. Yeah, in my legs. And now next we're doing, I think it's called New Fit. I forgot the exact name. But it's sort of like a tinge unit. If you've ever done that, it sends little electrical signals into your muscle. And the way this works is, what? Oh, uh, flex. depending on the polarity, <laughs> it'll make it harder <laughs> like, to either extend or contract. And as we get into it, I think the first one, it was easy to contract but hard to extend, and then. The second set was the other way around. Easy to extend, hard to contract. I feel like this guy's gonna try to get to him. <laughs> oh, <I'm... laughs> you should just shoot up there. And so, the theory is that you're sending the electrical signals to yes. the muscle, just to turn and bit. it's uh, creating a bigger, more forceful contraction leading to more muscle growth. Yeah, uh, so yeah it's just it was a weird feeling. That is weird. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good right there. 
Like, it's like on the way up is easy, but it's on the way down. You'll feel too. It gets easier like midway through the set. Your body gets like used to it. And this is a pretty interesting feeling. The fact that it's hard to extend my arm out. So you went out, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't know. 18, 19, 20 seconds rest. Yeah, it does get a little bit easier. Yeah. I get used to it. I'm going to change the polarity here. Makes it look a little bit different. This is so weird. And then for this arm, I was surfing like two or three days too, but it was a different like area. For the BFR arm, my arm was sore like right in the middle at the peak of the bicep. But for this arm, I was sore at full extension and full contraction. So like at the very top of the curl and when my arm was straight out is where I felt the most sore, but in between, I didn't really feel any soreness. So it was kind of interesting that I thought would be fun and cool for people to see. So thanks for watching. Yeah, that's that's different. Oh yeah, I think I could have got the fifty.